Good morning, friends, and welcome to another preschool story time with Miss Natalie. I can't wait to share my stories with you today and do a fun animal yoga pose. This week, we have books all about the animal that is featured, that means the star of, our Coronado Community Read Kids book called Tie the Quiet Giraffe. So we are talking about giraffes today and about zoos too, because a lot of giraffes live in zoos. So, are you ready to get started with our stories and our songs and our yoga? Awesome, so am I. Let's get going. Friends, let's go on a journey together and find out what happens when you go to the zoo in this book called Zoo Day. Here's the zoo. On a sunny Saturday, I go to the zoo with my mom, my dad, and my sister Lucy. It's me and Lucy's first time. My dad buys us a ticket and a bag of popcorn to share. While we look at the map, I hear roars and howls, chitter chatter songs, cries and squawks. I hold dad's hand tightly because the roars make me a little nervous. I see giraffes. First, we go say hello to the monkeys. There are a lot of monkeys. Next, we visit Gorilla Forest, and the big gorilla comes right up to the window. And she stares at me so hard, I think that I'm in the zoo and she's visiting me. At the African plane, we see a mother elephant and her baby who stays very close to mama. There are ostriches, zebras, and giraffes, oh, munching on the leaves of the tree way up high. Look at those long necks and long legs, just like in our song. Inside the Grasslands building, I can see the big lion. He looks sleepy and quiet, but all of a sudden, he opens his mouth and roars. It must be his nap time, Lucy says. I bet it's telling us to shush and let him sleep. We go to the reptile house and see a boa constrictor and a snake and a turtle swimming in its tank. We love to watch the polar bears and their dance underwater. We could watch them all day. But my dad says, it's almost time. Let's go. We hurry to the big pool where the sea lions live. They're climbing on rocks and sliding off and barking and splashing and grunting. Lucy laughs. They sound just like Roxy. They're our pet beagle. And I laugh too. When the zoo cooper comes to feed them, the sea lions gather around barking louder. She throws a shiny fish up in the air. A sea lion catches it with his flipper and splashes it and slaps his flipper on the rock. Another catches a fish and dives underwater. Mom, they're making me hungry. Me too, she says. So we unpack our lunch at a picnic table. And when we finish, I hear a whistling sound. What's that, I wonder? We follow the song to the birdcage but the birds aren't in cages, they're flying all around, and one even lands on me and drinks sweet nectar I have in a cup. I can't bring home animals, so Dad buys us each a balloon, one with a polar bear for Lucy and a parrot for me to remember our day at the zoo. And that's the end. Have you ever been to the zoo before? Here in San Diego, we have a really, really, really big zoo. That's a lot of fun to go to. Friends, let's sing a song about a giraffe. And we're gonna learn a little bit about what a giraffe has that makes it special and where they live. Are you ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. I know a giraffe with a neck that's real high. It stretches and stretches till it reaches the sky. She lives on the plains with the elephants too. You also might see her if you go to the zoo. Have you ever seen a giraffe at the zoo before? I have. One time I even saw a baby giraffe and it was so tiny, but it grew up to be big and tall just like its mom and dad. Friends, do you like to dance? Well, did you know that sometimes giraffes don't? And in this book, 
called Giraffes Can't Dance. We're gonna find out what happens when a giraffe isn't very good at dancing. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, all the animals sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That's not very nice, is it? It's not. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. <sighs> the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Oh, listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely room is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Well, those animals weren't very nice to Gerald. Do you think that you would have been nice to Gerald if he wasn't very good at dancing at first? I think that you would have because you're all very nice friends. Friends, are you ready to turn into a giraffe with yoga today? So am I. Now, make sure that you're all sitting nice and tall like this and before we become giraffes, let's do some yoga breaths. Let's reach arms up high, breathe in. <sighs> breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Ready, breathe in. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> now, I want you to get on your hands and knees just like this with your hands pressed into the ground. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one hand and press it in and breathe in and reach one arm all the way up and stretch out in front of you just like a giraffe's um, just like a giraffe's neck and open and shut your fist like you're a giraffe getting some leaves off a tree and then you're gonna plant that hand on the ground and now we always have to do yoga on both sides so we're gonna breathe in and reach our other arm up way up high and stretch it in front of us and open and shut our hand just like it's a giraffe's mouth eating some yummy leaves, maybe you reach it around, maybe it goes up even higher, maybe it stretches out in front of you, 
and then you can back on the ground and come and sit back down. I hope you enjoyed being a giraffe, friends, and I hope you're ready for our final story. Are you ready? Okay. And friends, we're gonna read a story about a giraffe and his friend Bird and what happens when they get separated. This is called Giraffe and Bird Together Again. When it comes to adventures, Giraffe would say, no thank you. He is happy where he is, grace, grace, swats and flies, repeat. Bird, however, would say, sign me up. He would go to live in new places, glide, swoop, soar, explore. This shouldn't be a surprise. Giraffe eats the same thing every day and never gets bored, but Bird loves to have new things to eat. Playing hide and seek is hard, for giraffe because he always hides in the same spot. And bird, you never know where you'll find him. One morning, giraffe, one morning, giraffe noticed his breakfast is peaceful. I wonder where bird is. He's probably hunting for bugs. But by afternoon, giraffe starts to worry. What if something happened to bird? He sees some feathers from bird and decides to follow them. First, the feathers lead giraffe into a dark forest where he has to watch his head. And soon, he's tangled in vines. Adventures are for birds, he decides, and threats ready to turn back. Ouch, he keeps bumping his head because his neck is so long. But what if bird is in trouble? With a loud <sniffs> snort, giraffe shakes his head and wrestles the vine until he is free. Next, the feathers lead giraffe up a craggly mountain. Giraffe climbs step by step but his hoofs slip and he tumbles backwards. But this is no time to give up. What if Bird needs help? Those mountain goats are being very nice to Giraffe. Giraffe is determined. He leans forward, digs in his hooves, and stops all the way to the top. Looking over at the view, he sees something shiny at the plains and sees a small and beaky someone next to it. Bird does need him. Quicker than he could swat a fly, Giraffe slides down the slope and runs to Bird, who slumped under a metal sign. Uh-oh, he looks a little hurt. Bird gives, wraps his feathers around Giraffe, so happy to see him. He forgets to warn Giraffe of the yucky muck nearby, and Giraffe is so happy, he doesn't notice the picture on the sign. Suddenly, Giraffe and Bird have a sinking feeling. Quicksands! But everyone knows not the struggle, so they don't. But Giraffe sinks deeper and deeper. This is why he doesn't like adventures. Bird is worried too. When will help arrive? He stays close to Giraffe and tries to distract him. So, how did you find me? Giraffe recounts his journey through the forest and over the mountains. And as he tells his story, he begins to feel proud and stands taller and taller and below in the sand, he feels something solid. And with all his might, Giraffe pushes through the mucky yuck with Bird cheering him on. Out of the quicksand, Giraffe flops down. Bird can see his friend is pooped and ready to go home. But he is full of pep and has an idea with some vines. At last, help arrives and Bird puts them to work. Before long, it's time to go. What do you think they're gonna do with Giraffe? Oh my goodness, the birds are flying with giraffe. Why, I've never seen that before. After all his fearless feats, Giraffe would, Giraffe would still say that adventures are for birds. And Bird would say, yeah, I think you're right. But they make a deal. Bird will wander a little less. And Giraffe will explore a little more. Well, I bet giraffes are really good friends. They can help you reach things in tall places, and they'll even come to your rescue just like giraffe did for birds. Now friends, before we say goodbye, I wanna show you our special book of the month. This book that we picked out especially for our yellow friends to come and read is called Tie the Quiet Giraffe by Carrie Hassler. And this book is our special book of the month, so come on by and pick up a copy. Thank you so much for joining me for another 
preschool story time. I loved helping you learn how to become giraffes and sharing some favorite giraffe books with you. I can't wait to see you next week. So let's take a deep breath in and when we breathe out, let's wave and say goodbye. Ready? Breathe in. <sighs> goodbye. See you next time. And parents, next Thursday, we have got the author of Tie the Quiet Giraffe, our Cornelia Community Read Children's book that was selected, coming in to do a special story time with the book. So if you're interested, definitely bring your kids by. It's going to be a lot of fun.